Hey guys, it's Jess here. I just figured on a beautiful day like today, I'd do a little tutorial on um, pruning your raspberry bushes, because it's a perfect time to do that. Some of the uh, equipment you might want, some tools for the pruners, and some gloves if you want, because they are pretty prickly. I found that sometimes a saw is actually pretty useful for the thicker canes um, that we want to cut. But um, if you don't have anything else, um, at least pruners, that's the main thing. So you can see here, there's some green uh, leaves coming out, but there's also a whole bunch of um, canes that are dead and should be pruned out. So for the health of the plant, it's nice to be able to take away all the, the dead canes so that you get nice airflow and air circulation. Also makes it easier for you to pick the raspberries. So if we move this way, you can see here, these, this is the spot where I've already done a bunch of the pruning. You can see all the dead canes that we've taken off. You can see a big difference. So lots of uh, space for the plants to grow, lots of space for the little primocanes to come up, and lots of uh, air circulation between the plants. There are two kinds of raspberry bushes, the first one being the ever-bearing raspberry. Um, and so with the ever-bearings, they'll actually fruit in um, late June, July, and they'll fruit again in the fall. Whereas with um, June-bearing raspberries, they'll only fruit once in June or in the um, summertime, and they won't fruit again until the following year. The ones that we have here are ever-bearing raspberries. You can see at the bottom, these ones are coming up. So these are actually called um, primocanes, which means that they'll be the ones that shoot up throughout the summer, and in the fall, they'll actually bear fruit for you. What that'll actually look like is, once they get to a nice height in the fall, you can see here, I've actually already cut um, off a fall-bearing uh, part of the raspberry plant. The very top of the canes will actually fruit for you in the fall until it dies off from the frost. The rest of the plant won't have a chance to fruit yet. So then in the spring, we're going to actually prune off this top part. So that's cut and right below you can start to see some buds coming out. So we'll def we definitely don't want to cut those off. So we'll cut it right where it stops budding and where it becomes the old dead raspberries from last year, last fall. And let the rest of the plant do its fruiting. So you can see that there's already leaves starting to pop up and the buds are coming out. So with the fruiting cane, that's what we call a flora cane. All these leaves here, eventually they'll produce some raspberries for you in um, early summer. So to go over that one more time, you've got primocanes. This is their very first year coming up. They'll grow nice and tall and they'll actually produce raspberries at the very top in the fall. They won't produce anything at the bottom that year. Winter will come and kill off the raspberries that have produced at the top. In the spring, right now, you'll get the second year floricane, which produces the buds up until where the raspberries had produced from last year. Okay, and then in the third year, it'll actually completely die off and that's when you prune the entire thing down. So I'll show you what it looks like when they actually do die off. So 
so you can see here some nice and healthy flora kings okay but here you can see a completely different color on this one it's dry it's kind of got some peeling bark on it and you can tell it's sort of gray and, and just has died off because this is its third year so that's the one that we're actually going to cut off and prune you can prune it right at the bottom right over there because it's not going to to do anything anymore and that's it for pruning ever bearings for pruning june bearings you just won't be doing the tops because there won't be those tops that have fruited in the fall and died off for you to prune off in the spring it'll just be one cane that fruits once in the season dies off the next year you cut it right down to the very bottom and leave the live ones to keep producing fruit for you so that's it for raspberry pruning uh, it's a simplified version of it but if you have any questions feel free to comment below and I'll try my best to answer them happy gardening everyone